What kinds of cells is this place holding? Human, animal, or vegetable? <laughs> the fire hose. The hose they used to loop through the cell door handles to lock the place up at night. Chief Scully really pulled this place into a sort of order, didn't she? <laughs> holding cell one. It's a poster. We put that up to cover the hole a prisoner dug to escape. Sadly for him, he dug his way into the rest of the station. <laughs> this guy's in police protection form, forming. Try to try not toilet your incarceration get you down. <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> Alright, so there's not much in here. Uh, holding cell two. Oh, hey, there's somebody here. Detective. Oh, it's Roy Jones. It's oh, the kid's dad, right? I'm going to use my detectiving skills and say you're in here. You're in for solicitation. Impressive! Your guess, not his soliciting. <laughs> right. Anyway, hand them over, Roy. Hand what over? Your matches and cigars. I wish I'd never met you, detective. Alright, so we got some matches. Did you hear? No, I'm not doing this. I just don't find toilets all that funny. <laughs> Holding cell three. Beauty Tam. Tam puts his name in places so he knows what's his and what's not. Old Tam loves to whittle. Whittle, whittle, whittle. Tam, you can't have a knife in prison. Tam can and Tam has. I'm afraid I have to confiscate that. Tam does not have warmth for you in his heart. <laughs> I got a knife. Old Tam ain't got nothing to do no more. Prison is a punishing place. Seriously, what am I meant to say about them that isn't literally toilet humor? <laughs> um, detective? Sorry for taking your matches. I'm not so sure that you are. Okay, maybe you should be a detective too. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can jimmy out that magnet. The knife is too big. I need to find something smaller. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go to the shooting range. Oh dear. How, oh dear. How did you get a gun? Why is everything so unsafe in this station? Pew pew. Tee. <laughs> okay. Looks like our guys are good enough shots to be stormtroopers. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, sprinklers. They're bust. If I want them to work again, I need to fix the system in the basement. A junction box. That thing has a good aim. We should get it on the force. Uh, if I'm seen doing that. Okay, uh, let's go back. Go to the garage. McKing's car. <laughs> Look at that car. Seriously, why does he get all those, all these nice things? A bulletproof sports car? The jerk. Uh, is the air vent. There's a serious draft coming from those vents. The bolts are probably the bolts probably just need to be tightened up. Our government issued block with wheels. <laughs> hmm, dispatch's junction box is screwed closed. Can I use a knife? Have you ever tried to, I don't know, open something like that just using a screwdriver? I've always been more of a lateral thinker. Hey, I got it. Now I just need some to find something to rewire this with. Hey. Okay, let's see. I need to drag the wires from one node to the other, same colored node, without crossing them. Okay. Okay, uh, can I not do that? Oh, there we go. Um, go up here. Uh, this one's pretty easy, just that way, and then there. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Eek! Hey, we got one of the gremlins. Yes, the system is back online. Time to do some hardcore cop work. All right, so we got it. All right, we got one of the things done. Hey, detective? Yeah? I think you're a better detective than McKing. Thanks, Dooley. That really means a lot. I think you're a better sidekick than Dallas. I don't have her legs, though. Well, no, but if you did that, it, but if you did, that'd be theft, wouldn't it? <laughs> all right, all right. I'll see, I'll see where they're going there. All right, let's go back. Still need to take care of the Gremlin in the shooting range. Let's go back to dispatch, talk to him now. 
Can't talk now. Detective, the system's back online and there are people who need our help. Okay, fine. I'm glad that that's fixed, at least. It's passed out. Let's get it out of here. Alright, so we got that Grimmon. Hands off, detective. They just came back online. I won't risk them failing again. Not entirely sure what to do. My insides make it stop. <laughs> okay. It's like, I have an idea of what to do with the matches, but... Hmm, can I hook up the hose to that? No. Um, number four, Thako is taking the lead, followed by Fumble and Critical Hit with Natural 20 taking out the rear. <laughs> what? Thako and Fumble are neck and neck with Critical Hit closing in. This is exciting, listeners. We have a three-way tie. Some of you could win a lot of money here today. For those of you just tuning in, I'm Dick Brickman, and this is Brickman has gone to the dogs, man. And wait, no, no, I missed the end. Sorry, listeners. Okay, so I guess it was different. Uh, we're coming to you live from the dog track where the gates have been opened. Oh, okay, so this was a dog race. Um, I got the trophy. Not much I can do with the pottery wheel, I don't think. I need something... I need something small. Uh, what if I... You know, your colleague's seeing you at that. Um... Okay, I need something to open up the fan motor. I know there's got to be something I'm missing because of course, of course I am. Can I get, get the back up and running? So I need to get to the basement, but I don't know where the basement is. Uh, okay, so I can get... Okay, so I need to get the magnet out of that, but how do I do that? Is there nowhere? I mean, there's a garage. I don't know what to do with the air vents. Oh, construction site. I haven't been here yet. Builder, you don't look very busy. Power tools bust, so Union says I don't work. Not my place to go against Union. You seem familiar. Do I know you? <clears throat> Not that I know of, no. Gary Plinkman. Hmm. Water pipes. The water pipes run all over the station from the briefing room to the shooting range. But the system seems broken right now. Probably the gremlin salt. Alright, water valve. Let's get the water flowing again in case another fire starts. Oh boy. Probably the gremlin's fault. Okay, um. Oh dear. Uh. This may take a while, folks. There we go. I got it. <laughs> Didn't take as long as I thought it would, but awesome. Okay, the sprinkler should be working now. You'll add me out of work, you will. Pot of clay. A lump of cold, hard clay. I have no use for this right now. Okay, okay. Toolbox. Mind if I borrow this? Why not? Can't see me getting back to work anytime soon. Fences. I don't think the tiny picket fences really make this place seem homely. Good addition by the chief. Or I think the tiny picket fences really make this place seem homely. Good addition by the chief. I hope they're building a gym down here. I'd like to work out while I'm bunking off work. <laughs> Alright, so then we've got a way to get the... Um... Here we go. Let's do this. This should achieve something. I did it. It did. The creature is... Um... What? I don't know why I expected more from that. <laughs> I know, same. Maybe I could open the monk... Uh, junction box. No, okay. Uh, I could, if I crush the shell open, I could damage the magnet. I need to find something more delicate. Okay. Now it's armed and wet. Great job, me. Uh, uh, chew. Maybe if we wait around long enough, it'll catch cold. Oh, I don't have, I don't have matches anymore. Can I? Uh, no, I've already taken the matches from him. What can I use the wrench for? Oh, what if I use the wrench on the air vents? There we go. The gremlins have broken everything else around here. I'm sure that if I didn't remove this now, it'd fall off soon anyway. Neither of us believes that, but I'm so into this. Fight the system! Dooley, we're part of the system. Speak for yourself. I'm bringing this place down from the inside. <laughs> I... I kind of knew that. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. Feel bad about it? No. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's say the vent broke because some maverick cop was crawling through it. All right. It's still nicer than our car. Oh, we could get the hood. I'll take this for my trophy cabinet. I mean, I'll take it to repair, be repaired. Yeah, that second one. Detective, how do you get all these things into your pockets? Origami? <laughs> okay, I have a hood now. I don't know what to do with it, but okay. Oh, I could use it as a shield, right? I just have to angle it like this. Hey, there we go. That was a shocking way to wrap this up. Are you proud of that pun? More than I should be. <laughs> Finally. Dooley, grab the gun and I'll take this guy. Alright, and then... That's well and truly bust. At least the gremlin is out cold. Uh, another case, another soaking. You should consider wearing a different colored shirt. I <laughs> Oh no! Oh jeez. Remind me to tell maintenance about that. I probably won't, sorry. Alright, so there we go. We've got two gremlins. I haven't seen any more gremlins, though. Okay, so then what do we do? Oh, maybe if I- can I put them in the holding cells? Can I put them in here? Hmm. Not sure what I need to do next. I still need something to open the fan motor. So I can get evidence room locker open. It's like, I have no idea what to do right now. And I hate looking up walkthroughs, because it feels like I'm cheating, but at the same time, what am I doing? I have a feeling that the pot of clay might be useful, but it's telling me it's not. At least not yet, so maybe there's something I still need to get. Um, I... T can I... no. There's got to be something I could do with the air vent, right? I have no idea. I may need to bite the bullet and see what else I need to do. I got rid of two of the gremlins, so there's that. Um, oh, it says there's something extra. Oh, I missed that. These drawers are full of all sorts of rubbish. Like bobby pins. Actually, can I borrow one, Sally? You could just have one. I wouldn't I won't want it back after whatever you do with it. Smart. Okay, there we go. Now I can do this to unlock the fan fan motor. I think I could pry the shell off. Yes. Okay, yeah, there's always some little you know, stupid little thing that I miss. Oh goodness, but well, I'm glad I figured that out. Or well, I'm glad I looked it up. <laughs> I didn't figure it out. But now we can get into the evidence room. This magnet should reverse the polarity and let me in. Ah, there's the gremlin. Chomp, chomp, claw face. It's too dangerous to get near. I need to find a way to knock it out. All right, all right. Uh, evidence. McKing's topless self-portraits. He signed them for the crime of being too awesome for the general public. Oh boy. Jars full of seamen from the mysterious figurine sailor case. Oh no. Gas grenades? Knockout gas. This could be handy if I want to be able to leave that party early. <gasps> I could use that. Boxes of jam guards with one scoop taken out from the unsolved scooper case where they'd appear at crime scenes after investigations had started. <laughs> oh, that was me. I like eating toast while I think, but always forget to bring the pot with me afterwards, so I keep opening new ones. Harmless. Julie, we spent a lot of taxpayers' money investigating that. Harmless. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. Okay, that's, that's it for that shelf. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of tiny hats. A man made them to keep nice w mice warm during the winter, but the mice turned out to be a gang of robbers, so we confiscated them. <laughs> uh, other books. Role play books. Not actual contraband, but dangerous reading nonetheless. But not too dangerous for our weekly game? Dooley, shh. <laughs> Magical tome. I hope this illegal magical tome will be okay in here when the door is bust. Oh yeah, skull. 
A plastic skull. A surprisingly more dangerous occult item than a real skull. Wizard hat. All that remains from the mysterious walking luggage that ate everything case. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a Discworld reference. <clears throat> um, let's see. More evidence. Who do you think wrote those dumb scripts for a comedy game about two cops investigating weird crimes? Nothing? Nobody? Shut up. What? <laughs> Alright, let's let's get this grenade here. That would knock me and Dooley out too. I need to find some protection first. Oh, the hose and the helmet. Plugging this into here gives me diving helmet. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Okay. Dooley, take this hose outside and keep the fresh air coming. Alright, perfect. Alright, there we go. Take this, you little monster. Uh-oh. <laughs> perfect. Alright, let's get the gremlin. While it's unconscious, I'll stuff it into my seemingly magical pockets. Alright, yes. Right, that's them all. I'll get Dooley, we can go to, go to the office and put this case to rest. Okay, let's lock these suckers into their new urn and get back to that party. Party! All right, new urn. Uh, in you go, sleepy monster. Back to captivity, my monstrous pal. Welcome home, little- Oh! Oh no. Oops. Oops! Is that it? What do we do now? Flush them down the toilet and go back to the party? We need to make a new urn. A magical one that can actually hold them. Again. <laughs> oh no. Uh, here I thought it was done. Oh goodness. I, uh, what's that, Chief? I'll be right there. Don't you dare. Oh no. What do we do now? Can I use the globe? No. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, the water cooler. Can I, can I just, I want to use that. Can I use that? Wait a minute. Can I use the pottery wheel? Hmm, if I could find the- Aha! There you go. Oh, I know exactly where to go now. I know exactly where to go. And yes, it is to get the pot of clay. This is a good urn-making material. Yes! Okay, perfect. Alright, here we go. Clay, pottery wheel. It's too dry to use. Alright, here we go. With the water. Okay, that softened that up. All right, we got wet clay, pottery wheel. Let's do this. How do you know how to make an urn? I watch that film Ghost a lot <laughs> for research. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's no point. If the urn isn't protected by magic, it'll break like everything else in the station. Okay, okay. So we got to go back to the evidence room then. And the magical tome. Maybe there will be instructions in here for sealing magical urns. Alright, uh, let's combine those. Let's see. Warding rituals, spells to bypass doing dishes, and... Aha! A diagram for how to seal magical urns. Handy. Time for some finger crafting of runes. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, you received item magic urn. Awesome. Okay, now we can put them in. One down. That's two. And that's done. And that's that done. Thank goodness. Let's get this somewhere safe. Okay, locked, fixed, and gremlins stashed away. What have we learned from this, Dooley? Not to eat so much sugar. I'm crashing now. I don't really remember much, much of what happened. But I'm sure it was nothing important. <laughs> now let's go back to the party. Oh, man. Hey, where's all the cake gone? We ate it all. Why is this place a mess? What did you two do? Well, there was... And, uh, we... Somebody let off a grass grenade. Nasty, big, pointy teeth. The car was smashed when we got there. <laughs> McKing did it? <sighs> Another one to file under dark side antics. Probably for the best, yes. Okay, well, you two better start cleaning. The budget doesn't allow for both your capers and custodial staff. Aw oh, man, chores and no cake. This day did not play out the way I hoped. <laughs> and that's that case. Oh my goodness. Not bad, not bad. 
Uh, let's see what it says. Edit. Paperwork got left behind as Dooley let some gremlins loose in the station. We rounded them up, but lost out on cake as a result. Such a shame. <laughs> All right. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Well, next time we will do Loch Ness. Interested in that one. And uh, thanks again to Genius James for Genius J James for editing this video. His links will be down in the description, as well as my links of where I go live. Uh, I go live on Twitch and Odyssey. Uh, even though I haven't been live lately because of my back issues, but I will see you guys later. You have a good one. Bye.